Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you are new here, hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching people how to draw dog fur because it's really well requested on my TikTok. So I thought I'd do it on YouTube. So I'm also going to chuck in um, an eye tutorial on how to draw a dog's eye only because like I had it available. So why not, you know? So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the eye first, and these are the colours that you will need for the dog's eye. Okay, so you're going to want to grab the Black Fab Castell pencil first and I'm just having a bit of a sharpening break because it wasn't sharp enough for my uh, drawing. And there we go, my pencil is finally sharp enough. Okay, so for the eye, I map it out. So I start with the outline of the eye and I will just draw it out just so I get an idea of, you know, the shape of the eye. And then I will take the same black pencil and map out where the actual eyeball is and just, you know, just two circles at the side of the eye basically. And then um, I will map out where the light is hitting the eye so you know that shiny bit you get in the eye. I'll map out that too just so I get an idea of where everything is. And when I have finally finished mapping out the eye and I am happy with it I will then go in with the same black pencil and just go around the areas where it's darkest on the image on you know on the eye and then I will just go in with my uh, brown um, Faber-Castell pencil and just uh, you know map out where it's brown in the eye so it depends what image you're going by, but I'm going by quite a dark image, so the eyes are going to be quite dark. And then you go round the light in the eye, do not go over that, because you're going to go over that in white in a bit. Okay, so now you want to grab the white Caran Diage. Well, I use a Caran Diage, but like um, you can use any white pencil, I guess. Faber Castell do sell white pencils, so you could use a Faber Castell. But I just use the Caran Diage because it has um, this thing in it where it stops the drawing from fading as fast. So I tend to use just the white Caran d'Ache pencil for this so it just blends all the colours together and you don't have to do it really hard do it really light because then you can go back in and add um colour if you want to whereas if you do it really hard you you'll find it really hard to add colour if you want to add more colour I guess so just do it really lightly Okay, and as you can see, I've gone back in with the black Faber-Castell pencil just to add a bit more dark textures in there. And then I'm just going to go back in with the white uh, pencil and just make sure everything's blended nicely. And I've got... Uh, a light texture where I want it to be and then I'm just going to go in with a white gel pen this can be any gel pen I just went and got this from my local art store uh, called Hobbycraft like it was not even that expensive and it just it just creates a more white uh, um, light in the eye so you can um, show that you know there's light in the eye so you can leave it plain if you don't have a gel pen or you can use a gel pen or another thing is if you have white paint like you can use that and just get a paintbrush and delicately um you know dab it in the eye and it will create the light texture that you want to achieve okay 
Okay, so now I'm just going to grab my grey pencil and basically I'm just going to go around the eye. Um, and this creates the white fur texture you see around the eye. Um, maybe on some dogs you don't, but I don't really know. But it gives it a nice flat texture around the eye and then you can add the fur um, around that afterwards. That's what I do anyway. Okay, now time for the fur. I take a black Faber-Castell pencil, you can take any black pencil that you own, and I map out where the fur and which direction the fur is going in. So I look at the picture really closely of what I've got and um, I always map out which direction the fur is going in and um, it's just like a light marking just so I know which direction it's going in so then I have I know for when I'm actually creating the furs if you know what I mean Okay, so you are going to want to, um, when you come to the guidelines of where, you know, the sketch of where the dog is, you're going to want to rub the pencil lines out just so that when you layer uh, the fur over the line, you're not going to have a massive uh, pencil line underneath it. So if you rub it out, it just gives you a nice uh, surface, to, surface to work on. Okay, so now for the layering of the black fur. So for the layering of the black fur, I use a purple pencil, like a dark purple, and I use a dark blue um, pencil, and I layer the, so the black's on the bottom, and then you layer the purple, and then you layer the blue in fur texture, so you're doing strokes of fur, and then you blend it in with a white Caran d'Ange pencil or just a white pencil in general and then you will do the process over again and you repeat this process as many times as you want until you are happy with the um, fur texture build up and then when you are done you just leave it you know Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the uh, brown part um, of the fur. And for this, I need you need a light brown, a dark brown, uh, an orange and a yellow. And then you're basically going to do the same as you did with the black, but um, layer of different colours. Uh, so I start off with the light brown, then I go to the orange, then the yellow and then the dark brown. Okay, and again for what you did with the uh, black, you want to map out what direction the hair is going in so that it looks uh, natural. Because if you go in a wrong direction, it's going to look weird. So um, carefully look at what direction the hair is going in on if you have a reference photo and follow the direction of hair on the reference photo, if you know what I mean. Okay, so you're going to want to um, maybe take the white and do the same as you did with the black and make sure all the layers are blended together before you add the last layer. And then when you've added the last layer um, of fur, 
uh, don't use the white again because you're gonna flatten it or you want it to have layered so i only use the white the white on the bottom layers on the top layer just use the um browns or the or the blacks or you know what i mean okay and just repeat this um layering process until you're happy with the color and depth of the fur it's just exactly the same as the black just with different colors so um do it until you're happy with the depth of fur and then when you're happy leave it i hope this video has helped some of you learn how to draw fur this is how i draw fur and i'm not saying everybody draws fur the same because they don't so if you want to go and look up more uh ways of doing you know drawing animal fur you can do that this is just my way of doing this and i have um you know practiced and tried different methods and this is the best method that i have um worked with so far so i hope this has helped